Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. Oh, once again, as I always say, if you're your first time here, thank you for joining us. Now, I'm known for a lot of my jovial content, my humorous, my satire, my parodies and things like that. But I'd just like to uh, be serious for a moment. Because this is a video that I have been planning for a little while and... I really need to get through this with much without much further ado. So this is a top 25 factors that prove that Donna Adelson had nothing to do with the murder. Now I'm sure you've heard that uh, her attorney Daniel Rushbaum, or one of her attorneys Daniel Rushbaum, has put through a notice that they want to change the date because this year, as it says in point number two, um, this year the Jewish holidays of Rosh. Hash Hana, I hope I didn't get that wrong, and Yom Kippur, which undersigned council observes, fall on October 2 to 3 and October 11 to 12, respectively. Now, this is a uh, news article that I saw on Court TV. Um, and you can see that I've circled this little bit here, um, where it says, um, I'll just read this bit. Um, it says, Adelson is an observant Jew and the holidays of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, known collectively as the Jewish High Holidays, are some of the holiest days of the religion's calendar. Now, of course, uh, being an observant Jew, I guess you would find uh, Dr. Sue Adelson maybe amongst the pages of some of these books, like uh, Iconic Jewish Women, Nice Jewish Girls, Great Jewish Women. I... I googled nice Jewish women to try and get a, a picture and these books came up and I thought yeah maybe she's part of them or, or maybe she's even part of this book the modern Jewish girl's guide to guilt but but is she guilty well let's continue with the video and we'll find out so who is Donna Adelson I'm just going to take a step back for a little bit while for those people who are unfamiliar but I'm sure everyone who's watching is familiar but let's just go through so, of course, some people may remember her from Wheel of Fortune, her time on there. Now, the uh, host, Pat Sajak, I'm, well, I'm not from America, of course, so I can't remember. I don't know how to say his name properly, but I'm going to say Pat. I just call him Pat. And he says, meet uh, Donna Adelson from Coral Springs, Florida. I want to hear all about you, Donna. Let's go. And she replies, and I really wish I could do the voices like uh, Roberta or Katie or like, Katie Cool Lady, Kathy or... Judy does, but I can't do can't do that. I don't do accents. But Donna says, well, um, I'm a domestic coordinator. See, I'm not even going to try that. Um, go listen to, to Katie Cool Lady. She does the domestic coordinator really good. So Pat says, a domestic coordinator. And she says, yes, I'm responsible for the activities, classes, and lessons for my son, Robert, who is 16, Charlie, who is 12, Wendy, who is 10, my husband, Harvey, who is in the audience, and my dog, Sam. And Pat says, all right, and how old is Sam? And Donna says, five. And he says, five. Okay, give our best. Now, he does it with the best, most sort of sarcastic or I think laconic maybe way. I don't know. I should have really looked that word up before I said it. But anyway, of course, I've covered Robert because we don't ever include him in a lot of these things because we don't need to see him because he's not part of any of the things anyway moving on now we also know her as she's a family woman this is grandma grandma donna look at that smiling face you know um she's also she works that's a, that's a photo of her from the adel institutes um one of their old websites with and harvey and and of course charlie working amongst there so that's what she is she's also uh, she also helped out with admin uh, doing the books and things like that and she was uh, once a teacher now I have to disclaimer this picture picture may or may not accurately portray Donna's teaching style I mean, she might not be that laid back uh, you know the face kind of says that she's she's not that yes that is photoshopped from her Wheel of Fortune days I was too lazy to go find another photo and she's also, when she's not being a teacher herself, she's also a great grandmother that, not a great grandmother, a nice grandmother, a, a good grandmother, a good grandmother that goes and picks up the boys. 
from school and, you know, occasionally get stopped on the way by an unruly undercover cop who's pretending to be a Latin king who's bumping off some letter and it's a little bit underhanded. It's like double extortion or something like that. Anyway, sorry, I said I was going to be serious on this. Let's get back on track. This kind of feels like a, I'm doing a This Is Your Life for Donna. I don't know if you're aware of that. It's a British show uh, adapted in Australia as well. This is from one of the Australian editions. This Is Your Life. Talk to a celebrity. They talk about all things. You tell about their lives, their achievements and things like that. No, it's, uh, reluctantly, uh, this is what I've been doing with Donna in this video so far. Um, they always they show a photo of them in their school days. This is Donna S. Jacobs. These are some photos of her. You would have seen these. Anyone who's Googled her, you'll see these photos um, or, or these photos, you know, you might be more familiar with, especially if you're new to the case and these are the ones that come up or, or these ones here. Um, yeah, which, look, sorry, I've got to get back on track. Um, let's add a little bit of colour now back to it. Um, you might have been saying, why are you doing sepia? It was just a thing I was going for. I don't know, just trying to be a little bit fancy. But let's add a little bit of colour back to it. I've got some some more photos. Uh, if we're adding colour, we might as well. We can't forget the green. She she's she reminds me, she's it's a bit like, she's either like a Teletubby or, or a Wiggle with all the different, you know, jail colour suits that she's got. Um, it's like she's representing, you know, all the the house teams for those people who have house colors in their sports but now i've i've been really distracted and i've got to get back on course so remember it's the top 25 factors that prove that donna adelson had nothing to do with the murder let's start off with number 25. okay so this year the jewish holidays of rosh hashanah and yom kippur which un the undecided council observes fall on October 2 to 3, October 11 to 12, respectively. Um, and you might remember, as I said, um, I'm just going to highlight this right here. Adelson is an observant Jew. Let's just, we'll just zoom in on that a little bit um, so you can read it again. Uh, oh, hang on a second. I, I did, did I put that there? What does this say? Make arrangement to get the boys caught up with private. Jew. Hang on a second. That doesn't seem right. Let's just go back a bit. That's better. Um, Donna. Adelson is an observant Jew. Um, hang on, what's going on here? Make arrangements for. Hang on, sorry about this, guys. Hang on. Um, King of the Jews. King of the Jews. Maybe that's what. This maybe because she talks about Jesus in that last bit and the King of the Jews. Um, hang on, let's just move on. Jesus, King of the. Make arrangements. Young men talk about young men about Jesus. The King of the Jews, Jesus. Jesus, that's what she's talking about. Not, I mean, not can't be the Catholic Jesus that she's talking about. Um, you know, the one that the for this, the holy, as I'm, you know, recording this just before the holiest of, of weeks. Uh, we're just about to head into Good Friday when I'm recording this. So, um, but... No, no, it says definitely, yeah, she's, um, it says as a result, um, Mrs. Adelson respectfully requests that the court modify the trial date so that uh, she's a good Jewish woman. Um, Adelson is ob observant Jewish. Is yep. Um, again, remember, as I said, Adelson is observant Jew. I'm getting off track. I've got to remember that highlighted thing. Um, hang on a second. What is, what's this file that I put in? Oh, this was from her, um, those emails. Uh, this is on the Stephen Epstein website. This is a, my children are going to fit in in this Bible belt. They're going to church every time. Church? I thought, I think she meant synagogue there. I'm having them privately tutored at home to get them caught up for Sunday school. Sunday school doesn't sound Jewish, but hang on, let's just, hang on. I think I've put the wrong video in, uh, wrong slide in. Hang on, let's just go into the next one. Take a photo of boys dressed nicely, standing at the front door by the sign of the Tallahassee Church. She got to mean synagogue. I'm sure she means synagogue here. She's another servant Jew. Um, Legibers know that your children will be baptized in the Catholic 
this, hang on. I I think I've really stuffed up with this. Um, let me just register them for toddler classes at church. Adelson is observant Jew. All right, so we'll go back to this slide. Okay, so Adelson is an observant Jew. Um, observant Jew. Um, yeah, she's Donna S. Jacob. She's like observant Jew. Um, you know, part of she's a nice nice Jewish girl. She is nice Jewish girl. That's what she is. Anyway, let's. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to get back on track. Um, number 24. I think I've gone long enough already. Number 24. Uh, reason why? Just forget number 25. We'll just move on. April Fool's. Oh my God! It's April Fool's Day. Why did I put that? Okay, guys, you've got me. Um, look. Yes, today is April Fool's Day, and. Um, this video is, I'm not trying to make light of Jewish or, or Catholic or any types of Christian within this. This is not what this video is about. What this video is about is Donna Sue Adelson. You know, Donna Sue Adelson, the observant Jew, is is what this video is about. Um, I keep on showing this thing and yet yeah, there's a lot of contradictions in a lot of the previous slides. Um, so yeah, but well, clearly she is not an observant Jew. Um, not, not an observant Jew. Just, I just feel that calling Donna Adelson an observant Jew just is another slap in the face. It's a nail in the coffin for Dan Marco, and I don't think it is a good thing to do. Um, I know that the, and I'm not saying that Court TV did the wrong thing. This is, they're obviously, uh, it's reporting what it is that, the, well, the claim that is made from her attorney. And, uh, but I just don't feel that it is good. I don't think it's a healthy thing to put out there. It's, it's not representative of Dan Markell and his family. It's not representative of them at all. And I know that he was more of an observant Jew than what his family are. And Ruth has mentioned it many, many times. She talks about it in, in her book. Uh, she talked about it on many of the the uh, YouTubers that she's been on, you know, whether it's STS or talking to Judy or uh, or Katie Cool Lady or Fancy Fiction or whomever she talks to, you know. But I just kind of feel that saying that Donna Adelson is an observant Jew it's just a big slap in the face to Dan Markell. It's it's not the legacy that Phil and daughter and his uh, sister Shelley and Ruth Markell. It's not what they want to hear. And and if they're upset by seeing things like that, I'm fully in agreement with them. I'm not a Jew myself, but you know I just uh, yeah. Now, I know I titled this the top 25 factors that prove that Donna Adelson had nothing to do with the murder, but it would be much easier to produce a video that said the top 25 factors that prove that Donna Adelson had everything to do with the murder. And look, I have been, I am, an, I am a lover of April Fool's Day, and I wanted to do something, and I'm not making light of this when I say that, because you can hear that there is a serious aspect to this. But what I, I just really wanted to do, I wanted to, to you know, bring my my personality into this. But at the same time, when I saw that on the court TV, again, not having a go at them, but it just did not sound right to me. And, yeah. Anyway, thanks once again for liking um, and subscribing and watching and everything else. And, you know... We just keep on watching, hoping that the stuff like this doesn't. I do, I don't like that Dan Rashbaum and and that side of it is trying to set the the narrative on this when clearly we know what the truth is. Obviously, the truth is going to come out in court two weeks earlier now. That should be good. Until then, keep watching all the channels. Um, yeah, um, for those who uh, celebrated, hope you had a great, 
uh, Easter weekend. I uh, hope the chocolates came and the bunnies and the everything. Uh, for those who don't, um, I still hope you're eating some chocolate. Uh, yeah. Anyway, until we talk again, this is Life 3030 signing off on the Justice for Dare Network. Um, talk to you soon.